Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, yeah, we're excited to be with you. We want to talk today about how to find those elusive ancestors or descendants in your family tree using Kazilla. So let's take a look at. So we are big into family history. We as a church and um, as now family history and genealogy is the number one hobby in the world. Often our tree goes back 10 to 20 generations. Our family tree is a lot of people say our family tree has been worked on by everyone for years. My grandmother's done it all. My aunt's done it all. It's all done. We're all linked into one big chain. It's all done. My tree is full. That's a good one. Heard that a lot. There's nobody else to find. Right. No one is missing. Everyone has been found and is sealed together in the temple. You may be right. As far as the direct line of your ancestry goes. But what about distant cousins or relatives? If all of your descendancy is done on every single line, back through all of the generations, you would have about 5 million people in your tree. And that's a safe estimate. And that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. So if you think your family history is finished, think again. Learn how Pazilla.org helps you find those long lost cousins who still need temple work done. And that's what we're gonna introduce you to today. So what is Pazilla? Pazilla is a hyper condensed visual family tree without photos and dates. The power of Pazilla is in showing you the big picture of your family search family tree and its overall structure. The goal of Pazilla is to help you find new places to research, which may lead you to new names for your branches. What are the benefits of Pazilla? So Pazilla quickly focuses on charting your ancestors' descendants in your family tree. Pazilla is free. It's good, I like free. <laughs> it easily logs you in and connects with your family search account. And then you can click to view details about your ancestors on your family search family tree. Pazilla only works with familysearch.org. Pazilla Premium is available for free at family history centers. So let's give it a try. So you go to pazilla.org and sign in. And Pazilla will redirect you to familysearch.org. Pazilla will use your information in family tree to build you a fan chart. So what's on your screen right now? You see in the left-hand column, it shows the starting person in the tree, which is me. You can also change and go to a different ID and change how many generations you want it to show. And then over on the right, you'll see the blue squares represent men on your fan chart and the red dots represent women. And you can hover over each ancestor to see information about them. Yes, yeah, so as we go through the chart, it'll show you each person that is represented by the dot or the circle. So to view descendants of a specific ancestor, you're going to select view descendants. Let's yeah. choose somebody. So let's choose, let's go to John Penoyer. So to stop it from moving around, you just click on the dot and it freezes that, that screen. And you have three choices, descendants, ancestors, or view and family tree. So we want to see all of John Penoyer's descendants. So we'll go click on descendants. So Pazilla will visually organize all your ancestors' descendants for you. And if it was completely done as it creates this lovely graphic, there wouldn't be any gaps. So straight away you see there's some gaps. Yeah, there's some gaps here and here, wherever the line doesn't go out. And we're set on four generations. So we could go out even further, but there's plenty of work here. And you also see down here, there's a yellow line. It's very faint here, but that yellow line is the direct line from the descendant you selected right down to you. And back to John Penoyer. You'll also notice these yellow boxes by people. That means, and you'll see the code up here, that they died less than 16 years old. So the chances are you're not gonna have fine that they were married or had any children. 
Um, some have these gray boxes alongside them like this one here. That means that they were born less than 110 years ago. Yeah, so I'm seeing this area over here where there's a whole bunch of blue boxes. And that's what you're looking with for. With almost no work. You're gonna be looking where there's a big gap and no one seems to have anything done. So I was looking at these lanes, names, there's somebody just named Snyder, Charles Henry Snyder, Albert O. Snyder, George, George Cole, Cole Snyder. Snyder. So oh, we have got, some information on him. Yeah, got birth and death for him. So let's freeze him. And now we'll go view him in Family Tree to see what there is to find on him. So Family Search takes you to who the is person he, page. Who is he in relation to? Oh, yeah, good question. So he is my first cousin four times removed. Of course, the tree goes up through John Penoyer, down through Carolyn Penoyer, their, his daughter, he and Mary White's daughter, down to George Cole Snyder. Okay. But look at all these hints over here, too. That's a good place to start. So let's just scroll down and see what we have on them. So that's interesting. So a lot of the uh, census records we already see there for George Cole Snyder seem to be when he's still going to be young because he was born in yeah. 1955. And there's no sources attached to him. So, so he yeah, could go ahead and add all those sources, but I'd almost be saying we're going to be looking for something a little after that. So why don't we just zip over to Ancestry yep. real quick. Okay, we don't have a spouse. Because we have no him. spouse. So yeah. Ancestry. And we'd maybe be looking for him, certainly not single at home, maybe after 1880 when he's 25 or find somewhere where it might just... Here's a 1910 census. He was living in, or he died in Cambridge. Um, yeah, so we know this is him here. So sometimes with ancestry, they have that thing where they bring things oh, yeah. up along the side. That's very helpful. Yeah. So here's the 1870 census, which was one of the hints over there. Um, Christopher and Caroline are shown as the parents. Let's go back and just verify that. So yep, we have Christopher and Caroline. And they live in, they were married in Pittstown, Ren Rensselaer County. County. So, so that's, that's where the census is. So here's an 1880 census. And he's 19... still 15 and he's not married here. Right. So, so let's go for the, let me say the 1900, 1880. What does it say there? 18, George C. Now look, he's married. Oh, look. There's a wife, Mary. And they have a daughter, Edith. They're not in the tree. So it's really as simple as that. Straight away there, just from that one little line and going over to Ancestry and finding a, a census that was when right old there connected, to be married. old enough yeah. married. There we find a spouse and a child and probably other records. And we don't want to spend time going into our research here, but you're going to then go in and maybe find, looking at all these other suggested records, and you're going to be able to find George, Mary's probably maiden name and yeah, more details a, about Edith, who's another. There's a marriage record right here that might actually show Mary's. Let's just check it real quick. Let's see what it shows. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was the daughter of Edith, her, her uh, marriage record, but Mary Collins was uh, Edith's mom's maiden name. Right. And also from that, then just noting that if that's Edith's marriage records, you've then also got Edith's husband's name to start another generation after that. Right. So Lots of records to look at, but just from that one thing. And you can go back to Pazilla and go down a different line every time. Then when you add it to your family tree, that will start filling in that missing yep. line that was there. And then we will work on and go through some of these other ones. But that's it. That's Pazilla in a quick, easy, great way to help you find all those missing people because there are so many of them out there. Absolutely. A great tool, easy to use. Go ahead and play with it. You can't break it. Yeah. And you'll find a whole bunch of people you didn't know you had. So have fun with it. Thanks for joining I us. Enjoyed it. Bye-bye.